Hi there, Scorpio, Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your December 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, before we begin, let me just say that this is a general reading, so it may or may not tune in to each and every Scorpio people out there, so just keep that in mind. So, um, yeah, this is actually a very profound moment. You know, it's like having a wake-up call happening for a lot of Scorpio people out there and there's actually quite a lot of major arcana into this reading and a lot and I just kind of feel that you know there's going to be something that changes your mind and changes your life as a whole so um yeah let me just point out that we do have here the Hierophant card the Wheel of Fortune and even the Chariot the Temper Temperance and the Empress card that that's just a whole lot of things so it makes me feel that um there's something that's going to have some form of change um in terms of your love life and relationships and um yeah um i forgot to mention this that this will play out in terms of your love life and relationships but at the same time you know everything that has to do with the matters of the heart and with your personal connections with your uh surroundings i would say <laughs> that kind of thing so anyway without any further ado let's just go in and dive into the reading now the first card that we have over here is the eight of pentacles which is you know all about teamwork i would say but it's different with it's teamwork but at the same time also different with uh the three of pentacles it is a point wherein maybe you're working on a craft, maybe doing a lot of hard work when it comes to your career. Or this could be a situation wherein you have the energy of wanting to work on something, wanting to work on a relationship maybe. Because we do have the Empress here and the Temperance over here. It could be that you are, you know, at the zone of wanting to um, harmonize a relationship. And it could be even a woman because we do have a lot of women cards over here. But then again, um, it doesn't mean that we are dealing with the Empress means that it's talking about a woman, you know. It could be vice versa all at the same time. So these are all just energy. So you just have to... Um, relate this to your own personal situation but i just kind of feel that this could be a situation wherein someone is wanting to to fix a relationship or trying to mend things out especially if you had a had some form of fight or argument with a specific person and not just any argument you know it's an argument that has really hurt the relationship maybe in the past and that is being shown with the queen of swords and you know maybe this woman if you are a man uh scorpio which i kind of feel that you know this can be playing out with a male scorpio or if you are a scorpio female this could be you know what's going through with your male <laughs> you know they don't have to be a scorpio but uh, that's just how the reading is playing out at this time so maybe um whoever the female is into the relationship you know tr um had some form of fight with the guy uh there is some form of you know they have expressed their rights and they they were not as understanding as they were usually and that has caused a lot of strain into the relationship maybe you guys all even broke up as a result so um whoever it is this eight of pentacles is really talking about i kind of feel that that person is wanting to get back with that person with that relationship or at the very least they want to make peace with it especially with the temperance card the temperance card is not just um it's not just a card of being in flow with life and stuff like that it's not just a very psychic card but um it's always a card of reconciliation and the funny thing here is that the temperance card is in the position of the near future the immediate future so there could really be an energy here of wanting to reconcile um the relationship you know reconciliation in the relationship so again let me do a an overview we are seeing here that you know someone is like focusing on making some form of effort 
uh, in a relationship and do know that we have here the page of wands and it's taking a look into the left side of the energy which is all about the past so maybe someone is like willing to talk things out willing to communicate once again it could also be that you know maybe there is something going on in their life right now and they're trying to run away i mean that is not something very good <laughs> I would say, I mean, it really depends. It could be a situation wherein something is not right happening in their life and they run back to you because you're the person that makes them feel genuinely loved. And, you know, there's a lot of true emotions and true values being with you, uh, you know. So there's going to be a lot of realization that's going to be happening either with you or the person that you're dealing with. So uh, with the ex existence of the Wheel of Fortune over here, it's like telling us that there's going to be a changing of mind. So maybe you have decided on a certain path, you know, you wanted to have a different life direction and the Wheel of Fortune is going to change that or it could be that whatever has been stagnant in your life, this could be uh, a sign that you know um something is going to move you know destiny is going to be playing a big role and if there's going to be some form of reconciliation to occur it is definitely going to happen so that is just the energy that we're seeing over here now we do also have the chariot there so this is not just you desiring to have some form of harmony into the situation because it's very easy to take a look on the reading and then see that, okay, we do see some form of connection. We do see some form of getting back together. But sometimes they don't really take action. And that is because we really don't see the action being played out. However, in this reading, I'm seeing that action. And we do have here the chariot card. And the chariot card is not only the card of movement and travel, but it's also a card of, you know, switching pathways switching pathways making decision or overcoming something you know you have been contemplating this could be a situation wherein maybe you have been thinking about a relationship thinking about a relationship that was you know really good maybe that person has you know it's not just the matters of the heart i kind of feel you know there's like all aspects of your life is being satisfied by this person so it's not just you know it's not just something that you can get from anyone else so it has that form of energy so it makes you feel that you know you're moving forward with a particular person in your life and maybe you are wanting to to move to a new new direction with that person and this can also be a situation wherein you are tr wanting to get serious with things as a possibility. We do have here the Nine of Pentacles, the Hierophant card, which is all about, you know, traditions and all of that, you know, traditions. It could be that this person is a very traditional one and that has caused a lot of angst in the relationship before. So right now, there's going to be a chance for you to communicate with this person. But it's going to happen based upon your own efforts or whoever this Eight of Pentacles is all about. So I'm not saying that you should communicate with someone. I just kind of feel that whoever it is that you have made some form of fight before, they are going to try to make things up for you. And they're going to try to mend the relationship. And I kind of feel that it gives a form of soul connection, a soulmate connection, you know. And sometimes... Um, it doesn't mean that when you and a person break up and you have a soul connection with them, it doesn't mean that it's over. I mean, what makes a relationship is not just um, it's not just one person. It has to be two people and they need to be both in a very evolved stage before they can actually reunite, before they can actually make the relationship work out. So, and that goes to the situation, whether you are in a soulmate connection or whether you're not, you know. I just kind of feel that this could be a situation wherein there's going to be some form of realization. And it, it has that form of situation wherein 
there is a, an evolved relationship coming through as well. So, and do know that we have the Wheel of Fortune here, and then we have the Ace of Cups as in the overall um, outcome of the reading, which is giving us an idea that, you know, there could be, there's um, a strong connection with your own emotions this time around. If you have been deci deciding or you have been making your decisions and relationships based on logic, you know, maybe you think that this is the right thing to do, it's the right thing to leave someone behind and stuff like that. You are in a situation right now wherein you are going to be following your own feelings because your feelings are is going to really come through and your intuition is going to be strong and at the end of the day you are going to be following what your intuition is telling you and this is actually a very good thing it's like you will know what path you should be taking so um yeah the most important thing that you need to know here is that someone is going to make an effort someone is going to make an effort and there's going to be some form of movement in terms of the relationship and it is the and the goal here is to to have some form of union and to make peace in that connection regardless of what you are going through right now i just kind of feel that um there is a situation here wherein there were problems in the relationship and then um there is a desire to to fix that also um it's like something is being unlocked but at the same time um there's also a situation wherein some Scorpio people might enter a point of um, thinking moment, you know. They, they have to reflect on a certain relationship. And it could be not with you. Maybe they are already in a relationship, you know, with a different person. And they are, you know, reflecting on that relationship and comparing their relationship with you. And with that comparison, even though it's not ideal, I mean, it's not good to compare, but that is the, the link that they have with you. So that allows them to, to think back to you and to think back that, you know, I think, I think this girl or this man is the one for me. You know, it, it leads you to some form of conclusion in yourself and, you know, there is something that's actually very much fated in this in this scenario so if you do hear with someone <laughs> if you do, if you do hear from someone in your past or someone that you used to know and you had a very bad relationship with or you know even though that you guys had a really good relationship with but if things have ended really badly between the two of you i kind of feel that there is a chance for you to restart things and to you know to have a fresh start again and you know you're gonna be trying to to work around with this with this woman who is very traditional maybe you know you're going to to try to please them if you are <laughs> this person so um yeah there is really a, a form of wonderful energy here wherein i kind of feel that for some of you there's a lot of confusion that has occurred for you like you thought that you were making the right decision before but you will come to realize of your own mistakes um this month of december and you are going to correct that that is actually the very key that you need to understand so um Things are definitely going to gradually move forward right now. And um, all you have to know is that you're really so open to your own emotions right now. Like you're just going to be following what's in your heart. Whether it's the right thing to do, whether it's not right, you know. Regardless of your own thoughts, regardless of whatever log logical reasonings that you have. Whether it's valid or not valid. This is a time that regardless of what you're going through, you are just going to be following your heart and you're going to take action to reaching that person or reaching that goal, reaching whatever relationship that you feel is most satisfying for you, not just in a very emotional level, but you know, physical and spiritual all at the same time. So 
you are definitely going to I kind of feel that this is a point wherein you are going to start to be in a relationship that is much more fulfilling you know it could be that you you might have to leave someone behind first to reach that person all i know here is that there is someone that you have to reach over and there's something that you have to overcome there is a decision that you need to bypass first you know making an effort to do that so that there could be some form of peace and union in the air when it comes to your matters of the heart love and relationships and this is actually a really good way to end the month and you know as you enter 2021 it gives you like a fresh start of much happiness and emotional fulfillment in the air so that is something that i'm really happy about for a lot of scorpio people out there so um yeah this is the reading for you guys it's going to be a lot of major stuff going to be occurring for you um it's something that you need to overcome but it has a lot of good uh good sense of energy coming through so yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me my website is currently down so um i'm still fixing it so you cannot reach me there for bookings but you can do email me at my at my email in the stars by christy at gmail.com if you are interested for a more personal reading as i still do them um so yeah thank you guys and i'll see you next year goodbye